Creative Suite 6 Design and Web Premium really empowers you as a, a web developer or designer, whether you're using Flash or web standards, because it gives you the ability to hit multiple screens and even make apps for them as well. It's really exciting. I want to go ahead and start off in Dreamweaver. If I go to File, New, Page from Sample, Mobile Starters already has the framework, jQuery Mobile, built in, ready to go for you to make your very first mobile website. I'll choose the jQuery Mobile with theme uh, using PhoneGap as well. So from there, if I select that and just go to Live View, here it is. It's basically the same sort of jQuery Mobile framework you might already be familiar with, or even if you're just familiar with jQuery, it's really easy to edit. Everything's spaced out in divs right in here. So it's easy to jump in here and edit this template, and you can modify it further as well using the jQuery Mobile swatches. Okay, So going beyond that, what you'd do is you'd go ahead and modify the CSS and the content, and you'd end up with something, say, more like this. So let me just open up this file. Here's a case where I've gone in, swapped out all the CSS, and really just did a total overhaul starting with that template. And you can see how this is set up. And since it's I have Live View selected, this is actually a WebKit running in Dreamweaver. Uh, this is great. It's mobile optimized. You know, I can easily click on each one of these uh, with my finger. But what I want to do with this, instead of just making a mobile website, I want to go beyond that. I want to make it into an app. And you can do that thanks to PhoneGap build being built into Dreamweaver. This is really exciting. It will go ahead and package it up as an app, no different than any other app, say, out, on the, out there on the market. Uh, so, you know, you were, say, for instance, a web developer, and now you can easily become an app developer as well. So if I go through that PhoneGap build process, what you'll end up with is something like this. Here it is on my phone, just a different screen. I can click on any one of these. You can see how you have that transition. Not only that, we have that call button, which is, of course, stylized, but I'm tapping into the functionality of the phone by having that call button, maps, whatever the case may be. But I can easily add that technology in using PhoneGap, as well as my, uh, my HTML and everything else I need. So it works out great. even works with these native buttons. If I click that back button on Android, you can see how that goes back. So that's great. That's just one example of creating an app using Dreamweaver, which is really exciting. But if you're, if you're using Flash, what you can also do is you can use Flash Professional CS6 to make apps as well. So what I have going on here is something that's a little more complex. It happens to be a game mostly written in ActionScript. And it's pretty cool because instead of publishing out to the Flash player to be viewed in a browser, I can select Air for Android or even Air for iOS. Okay, so I'm basically making an iOS app to view, be viewed on an iPad, iPhone, iPod, and then we also have the an Android version that I can make as well. But let me jump into these application settings for the Android version, for instance. It's really just filling in the blank in here, but what I wanted to show you is right down here, we have this air runtime, and I can basically embed the air runtime with the application. So in previous versions, or at least as another option, you can uh, have the user download the Air Runtime separately. And once they have it, they can use it for all of their Air apps that rely on the Air Runtime. But this way, I can go ahead and embed it into my actual app so the user doesn't have to take that step if they don't have the Air Runtime. Just like that, I'll click OK. Not only that, I'll point out one other thing. You have the ability to add in native extensions as well. So this means you can tap into the native functionality, whether it's the gyroscope, uh, notifications, vibration, things like that, really extending the functionality of your app. And it's great that from there, if I just jump back in here, go to deployment, I can go ahead and install this application and launch it immediately as well on my connected Android device in this case. So I'll just go ahead and click Publish, and I will publish it out to my phone. All right, here's my connected Android device. You can see here's the game. Uh, everything's set up. I can go into, say, single player mode. And this happens to have, um, uh, you know, say, for instance, the uh, vibration implemented. That's a native extension. So. I can easily move this around based on touch, and if I don't, if I, he hits the bottom, it'll just vibrate 
just a little bit. So it is pretty impressive what you're able to do with Dreamweaver and Flash Professional, enabling you to make apps, uh, say for Android, iOS, for multiple screens, makes it really exciting. So I encourage you to check out Creative Suite 6 Design and Web Premium.